talk about why they're legendary, why they feel like it's their favorite, and why they think it's the best legendary. They're just very passionate about my baby. My legendary Pokemon that I love the most is Lugia. Um, I feel like I feel like it's mainly nostalgia that I like most about it. It was like the very first Pokemon that I could actually see myself going into like the Pokemon world and wanting to be around. Like I just like the whole concept of how Lugia was the one that calmed the storms and how I will, I'm going to say he, uh, even though Lugia doesn't have a gender, it's just something that it's going to happen. And I do apologize if anyone feels offended by it, but I feel, um, I feel like it was just cool how he's so powerful that he has to literally hibernate in the ocean because of how powerful he is because he fears that, you know, he's going to take out a lot of things. Like, for instance, he could, with, like, one swipe of his wings, he could make a storm last for 40 days. Like, it's intense. And I think it's really cool that he is the only Pokemon known that can use Aeroblast. So that's pretty cool. And I just think he's the guardian of the seas. Like, come on. He's amazing. And he's psychic and flying, by the way. Just so everyone is aware. All right. So I'm going to counter that and mention that my favorite legendary Pokemon of choice is Articuno. Um, which, fun fact, if I'm pretty sure everybody knows this at this point, but he has a psychic form. I, my brain doesn't know how to pronounce it. I think it's called the Gal Galarian form. And it's psychic and flying. So that makes it even more, um, you know, epic and gorgeous and beautiful. Um, except the fact that its ability is, like, cruel and competitive when it's in its psychic form, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Um, and reasoning why I like Articuno so much is that when you watch the first, mo like, the movie that they're in, um, because Articuno doesn't have a gender, um, you don't really see them that much. The only ones you really see are, like, Moltres and Zapdos and Lugia. You don't see Articuno. And that made me kind of gravitate more to Articuno, because you don't see that much limelight of him, or them, rather. So that was, like... I want the oddball. And that's what I did. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's a ice and flying type, and it's beautiful and majestic, and it flies in the sky and shoots ice out of its beak. Like, hello, it's dope. So, that's my, my argument for liking Articuno. Thank you, and have a great day. Darkrai, he is from uh, fourth generation. He is a pure dark type. Uh, he does have two forms. I'm not 100% sure what it's called, but he does. It's just he grows legs. So one he's one form he's floating. Second form he's just he has legs. Um, he is the dream demon Pokemon, and. Uh, his moveset, I think when you get him, I know he has Dream Eater and Hypnosis. Um, and I, I'd, I've i loved him, I think, uh, ever since he came out, because just a very cool design. Um, and it's kind of odd for some people to look at a Pokemon with no mouth, but yet he can still talk. I think it's through telepathy. But, um, yeah, some Pokemon, since, since he is a legendary, he can actually, I think he is actually one of the few Pokemon who can actually speak English. It's known that he, well, at least if you've seen the movie, um, he can, he talks to humans. So, he's not just a, a regular Pokemon that says its name. He can actually speak English. So, that was really cool to me. Uh, I do think the Pokemon saying his name is cute, but I was really, like, in shock that, like, I have all these Pokemon 
he's uh, one of the few who can actually like communicate. Um, uh, it is said in the lore that when he does come, you can you can make him go away by uh, summoning Cresselius to lighten the darkness that he's created, and that's kind of like it, well, if you read it, the lore with them, you'll know that Cresselius and Darkrai have kind of like a soul bond, like it's cause and effect, one can't be there without the other, so. And, I don't, know, I don't, I don't love Cresselius. <laughs> <laughs> um, mainly do because, she, Jesus, I, I'm gonna say she, because I think Cresselius is a she, she, because I've always thought Dark Rise is a guy, so. Um, but I don't love her only because she's kind of like one who kind of like defeats him. There's never a time where she she's there like, oh, she's she's way too bright. Let's get dark right. No, it's always him who always darkens the skies, and you have to get her to counteract him. Which I always felt like, no, oh, that's not really fair. He doesn't get it. He's not. It's not like. Oh yeah, Dark Rise here. He can darken the sky, so we don't have to look at the bright signs. It's always like no. It's always the bad guy. So I like him. Probably not. People, but it's it's probably not the biggest loving legendary, but I like him. Very good design. Very good story. I'm vi I was super happy when they made a movie about him. I. I think I still own the DVD of it. But yeah, I love him, so... Yeah. One thing that doesn't make sense about him is that... Uh... He can... I don't know if it's teleporting, but... In the movie, he can, like, phase through stuff. Which I always found weird, because I, th I always thought a ghost could do that, so I always got confused that... Is he ghost in dark? But no, he's just pure dark. So I was like, how can he phase through stuff? Because ghosts do that. So, but yeah, still favorite. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about him. Okay, so mine is Garatina. And what got me to, like, have him as my favorite is that... Whenever I first, like, saw him in the game, I was like, ooh, this is a third, like, main legendary? Question mark? And I just love the design of him, like, in his uh, altered form, because I think that's what it is when you first meet him in the, like, regular games, like Diamond and Pearl. Because I don't think he actually gets his origin form until, like, Platinum. But I really liked the, the whole fact that it was like, oh, look at this. What, what, what's his story? And then you learn that, like, in Platinum, that he's literally kind of like the devil Pokemon. Like, because Arceus is God and cast him out for being violent or not liking what Arceus, like, Arceus is, like, in vision or something. I, I didn't really see what made him violent in the first place. But he was pretty much one part of the original three which you don't learn about until like later on because mostly people talk about Dioga being the Lord of Time, Palkia being the Lord of Space, and no one really talks about him where he pretty much is in a separate dimension, kind of like the reverse dimension. And also a little fun fact, he is technically an ultra beast. No one like really, you know, like talks about it, but... Technically, since he is, like, from a different dimension and everything, he is an Ultra Beast, like the Ultra Beast in Sun and Moon, but except, you know, no offense to them, but Garatina, ten times better. Not gonna lie. Um, and then whenever you first saw him, like, see that he has his altered form, it's really cool. Like, the origin form is really interesting, and it's, like, the altered form that you originally see him in is defensive, the origin form is a offensive, 
and everyone wants to get him and take control of him because he he can then control the the reverse dimension where everything is like you know mixed logic and everything it's like a mad dimension or like hell for example and all uh, pretty much the version of hell in uh, Pokemon in general and also he is technically the like they're whenever they um they made him the concept for Garatina, which I think was really cool, is that he's anti-matter. Because he is legit the opposite of Arceus. He's not really, like, you know, evil or anything like that. Like, especially in the lore or in, like, the show. Like, he's not evil. It's just he disagreed with Arceus. And Dioga and Polkia even end up helping him in fighting Arceus. Because they don't want Arceus to destroy the human race. Which, you know, kind of goes into the fact that it's like, huh, that's kind of mimics a different type of, you know, religion and, you know, lore, as you would say, in uh, Christianity. Which is kind of weird. But I really do like how they pretty much say, oh yeah, since God's matter, and that's Arceus, Garatina's anti-matter. So, he's the polar opposite. And then also, the fact that he's a ghost dragon type. I think he was like the first ghost dragon type to be like, you know, brought forward. And it's just, his um, I forgot the name of it. But I think it's like Shadowborn or something like that. Shadowverse? No. I, I know people are going to be like in the comments like, no, it's this, it's this. How are you so dumb? And I'm like, I'm sorry. But uh, I really do like like that move for him. Because it's just so cool how he just disappears in and out of like reality. And then attacks the Pokemon and then like, comes back on your side. It's one of my favorite moves. And let's be totally honest. Gantana can whoop every other legendary's butt. Just saying. It's a matter of opinion. Articuno has no chance. Let's just say that. Whatever. Rude as hell, you know for a fact that... Lugia would Lugia go down. No, no, Lugia no. would go down. He would not. Lugia would go down. <sighs> what? He's gonna say that his is better, and that's fine. Everybody's is a matter of opinion. No! He's legit the devil. Uh, uh, uh. He can whoop their butts! <laughs> In, in the lore, maybe, but in an actual game fight, Lugia could win since he's the psychic. Well, so. and who knows what? what? Uh, Wolfie what? said what? So, haha. <laughs> psychic Articuno, baby, what the fuck is up? Sorry. <laughs> I've actually played a match of Garantina versus Lugia, and guess what? I beat Lugia with Garantina. Ha! Swin, I saw, I didn't see it. A picture <laughs> didn't happen. Oh, okay, okay. One day, one day. Go ahead, go ahead. One, one, day we're, one day we're gonna battle each other, and you're gonna have Lugia, I'm gonna have Garatina, and I'm gonna whoop your butt with Garatina. Let's go. I will 100%, I will fight you. I'll fight you, Shane, right now. <laughs> Let's yeah, go. Ghost Let's... Is super, yeah, Ghost is super effective on in Psychic, but with Lugia's stats and everything compared to Garatina, they should, if they're both level 100, appropriate stats then they can't then Lugia the right moveset can be Lugia or yes Lugia can be Lugia yes that makes <laughs> sense uh, I mean Lugia, possibly Lugia, <laughs> Lugia can beat Garatina but I do agree with Shane in the fact that if you're going with specific pipe ups uh, and lore Garatina will win Boom. we're not not going with lore. Gosh, Boom. Wolfie. <laughs> Wolfie, Boom. whose side are you on? <laughs> <laughs> Not mine, clearly. No. <laughs> no one's on my side. It's completely fine. I will I'll forever love Articuno, no matter what any of y'all say. So fight me. Articuno, flying ice type, can... I, I've beaten Lugia with Articuno a billion times. It's super easy. Oh. I'm okay with with Nina beating me. And I'm okay with Amber beating me. 
Not Shane. Not Shane. Shane Campbell. <laughs> Shane Campbell. Every, everyone's fine until freaking Shane is in the mix. Yeah. Because they're all. Everyone's oh. like. Everyone's like. Huh. Who do we have as a common enemy? And they just all look at me. And I'm like, <laughs> why? <laughs> what did Shane, I do? You're, because you're chaos, and you. You and Sue Chaos, so therefore we have to we have to mellow down the chaos. We have to fight you. Maybe that's another reason why I mix so well with Garatina. He's legit <laughs> anti he's the antimatter per Pokemon, and I'm just chaos. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I would if I would be um Wolfies. I I, I don't mm. No Dark Right The thing with Dark Right Dark Right is yeah. really quick. And the whole fact that he can yeah. put the Pokemon to sleep very quickly. Yeah, Darkrai has a high chance of beating Lugia and Articuno. Yeah. I think yeah, it's more Lugia like... Is not fast. <clears throat> Darkrai would be like, have the best fighting chance against Garatina, like, matchup-wise. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dark is very effective on Psychic and Ghost. Yeah. So... But then the yeah. Dragon would, mellow, would uh, pretty much mellow out the super effectiveness... So it just really depends on, like, if you're able to put my Pokemon to sleep and knock it out before you, um, before it wakes back up. But the thing is about Garatina, Garatina has a shitload of health. It's a tank. He uh, is literally my... a... Yeah. I, I was gonna say, my favorite thing to do with Darkrai is Hypnosis, Dream Eater, and, uh, fucking Shadow Ball, and one other that i forget dark pulse no i i i like to mix and match stuff so i'll have mirror and hypnosis always one dark move and one other move just to balance it out well shadow ball is a ghost type move so dark pulse would be a dark type move oh sh oh wait yeah i'm think i thought uh, yeah for some reason i thought sh uh shadow ball was dark type but i was like nope wait no nope. No, yeah, I like to have at least one move to counteract something because if you bring a fairy type, a bug type, or a fighting type, I usually like to have a flying type move because fly flying beats bug and fighting. So, so I, I'll so I'll usually bring a flying type move on Darkrai just to beat um, bug and fighting. So, what team okay. matchup do you think would? Would win. Do you think Darkrai and Garatina versus Articuno and Lugia would win? Like, I feel like that's messed up. You can't do that. <laughs> we already <laughs> clarified that mine and Nina's would not win against Wolfie. How about how about this? Just to make it fair, since I'm super effective against most y'all, uh, it's <laughs> me and Panda, since because it wouldn't be fair since having the having the most effective. I mean, most effective against me yeah, on the same team because Lugia and Giratina are on the same team. I would beat them. So, me and Panda versus you and Nina. What do you think, Shane? Would that would that be good? Yeah, I, I, I was thinking also, like, you and Nina and me and Amber because... Because, like, Lugia and Garatina, Garatina could tank Darkrai, and then Lugia could take care of Articuno, hmm. or even, the, like, the other way around. But, well, other way around, Darkrai would well, pretty much down Lugia really quick. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do anything against Wolfie, so you couldn't pin me against Wolfie if, like, Lugia would... Like, unfortunately, I love Lugia, do not get me wrong. But I can, when I know, I know a battle, <laughs> I know when to not battle, all right? I'm not Ash. I know, I know when to not battle. And a psychic type against Darkrai, you're screwed. It's, yeah, I wouldn't. Against Darkrai, you're still screwed. Yeah, I would never put Lugia against. So Wolfie's in his own category. <laughs> <laughs> like, like in DVD, all right. <laughs> well, well, the thing is. Love you, Wolfie. <laughs> The thing is, Darkrai and Garatina are pretty much in their own categories, because Darkrai is like a dream demon, and then Garatina is like the literal devil himself. I would 100% still put... That shouldn't be around. 
I okay. would still put Lugia against um, Garatina, uh, only for the fact of I would actually want to see that battle, even if it wasn't me or you. I just, I really would want to see that battle, only because I'd like to see, like, how it played out. But I, I, mm mm. Darkrai? Like, watch no, Articuno get taken sorry. down by Garatina. I don't know if I could do that. Well, obviously, it would be devastating, but let's hope, you know, it's more of like you're hoping that your Pokemon will win. It's not. It's going against either Darkrai or Giratina. <laughs> I would I rather him go against Giratina. Nothing. I feel like, wouldn't, I feel like uh, you would have more of a chance against uh, Darkrai than what I would. Because the thing is with Articuno, if Articuno is able to land a hit first and is able to freeze Darkrai, you yeah. win. You win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you would have more of a chance. Team. Unless you have, like, sheer cold or something like that. Yeah. Mm. Like, the only uh, like only Pokemon here that has a chance of being fast enough to outspeed Darkrai is Articuno. Mm. And that's, that's what... Like, between Lugia and Articuno, that, that's the deciding factor on, like, which one has the better chance of winning. But which if you is do... why I feel like Wolfie's pairing is better. That way, I could go against you, and Nina could go against Wolfie. Fair. I can see that. I can see. Okay, okay. So, Wolfie's pairing... Wolfie's pairing works. Wolfie, you're going down. Articuno's getting first hit. Hmm. <laughs> like I said, love you, Wolfie. <laughs> so, like, so, like, the thing is with Darkrai, Darkrai has good, like, speed stats and offensive or special attack stats. While if you were able to get, like, a first hit on him, then he almost goes down because he doesn't have, like, the best of, like, health or defensive stats. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. once he's onto the ground. If I'm training him and I'm doing what I know, he's going to be beefy and speedy. Which is why you don't touch him. <laughs> Which, that's also another thing. Are we... Did we just capture yeah, these Pokemon? Or are we... Yeah, yeah. There's a big difference from hatching it from an egg. Exactly. Catching, yeah. catching it in the wild and having it at level 100. So. Exactly. So how how... There's a lot of factors that we have to... The, go into because well well let's let's put it like this these are pokemon that, let's just pretty much like say that they're, they're like they're wild forms going against each other we haven't trained okay. them or anything okay. it's just oh. they're letting us command them in this one fight against each other okay that does make a difference i'm not gonna lose our kuna is probably the weakest one out of the three. Oh, <laughs> Nina, four. not really well, I mean, no. like I said, like I said, if I were training Articuno, I would train Articuno to do a certain tax with certain Pokemon. But if Articuno doesn't, say for instance, doesn't know certain abilities against certain Pokemon, Articuno's going down. Just based off ice abilities alone. Yeah, if you're going off the regular Articuno or the um, Psychic one... And the Psychic one, I don't know its moveset, but the regular one, you would need... Modest. You would probably need like good, good moves like Ice Beam, Blizzard, yes. Fly, stuff like that. So, so actually, no, you can't use TM since it's wild. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, but no, I mean like Articuno has a huge. <sighs> to be fair, just going off of not TMs for um, I don't know what. Oof. Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying this right now. If any of us, any of our Pokemon can learn a rock type move, you're dead. He is four times weak to rock since he is ice and flying. Uh -huh. That is a four times weakness to rock. Yep. Sorry, Nina. <laughs> yeah, and pretty much I know um, Dark Ryan and Garatina can learn rock type moves. I don't know about Lugia. Yeah, he can. Lugia can learn dark type. I mean, rock type moves. Articuno cannot. He he can only learn. He can only do one. Uh, he has one, like without me having to teach him. Oh, he has a rock type move. Yeah. Huh. I guess. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Yeah, like, ancient power. Oh, that's what it was. I was thinking like yeah. Dark Slide or something, but I was like, no. The ancient power is probably the hardest hitting. Um, yeah. Rock, rock type move. Mm hmm. Especially, especially if you have it on. Yeah, Luvia with his stats. Yeah, that can do a lot of damage. Mid defeat. <laughs> oh no. That's okay. I'll go down next round. It's fine, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> We're all screwed against these two. Jesus Christ. Well, they picked two demons against two angels. I like, know. <laughs> Yeah. Wait a minute, why would I have done that? You know who I should have chose? I should have chose freaking Entei. At least Entei would have had a fighting chance. Sort of. No, no. no. Entei is the worst of the three dogs. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, no, uh, he is the worst of the three dogs. I I, okay, so I guess I have a thing for weak Pokemon. Got it. Damn. No. <laughs> you're, so yeah. you just you just like the snuggly wuggly ones. That's like me. That's like you saying I like Teddy or stuff, which I do. But <laughs> oh you know which one I really like? Oh, huh. that no one that no one really likes. I don't know why, but the the oh frick the <laughs> one that kind of looks like Ter Teddy Ursa but has a no has like a runny nose. It's like the ice bear. I think oh, it's Cup called. Chew. Cup Chew. Yeah. I love yeah. Cup Chew, and everyone's oh, like, why? Shit. I just remember That's something. So cute, though. RCS, um, that that final move you were thinking about, it's called Judgment. Oh. For RCS, it's legit like death. Yeah. It's I RCS giving you. judgment on everything. I just remembered it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, there had, yeah, I knew he had like something really powerful. God, what is that? What? Is Whoa, God, no, I'm clicking there. Okay, I fixed it. Sorry. Yeah, had a, but had a bit of an issue. But like, judgment is literally Arceus going, "I am God. This is my judgment. Death." Okay, okay. Now I have to look up Articuno's move set because I'm genuinely curious. I forgot everything of Articuno. So, oh my god, I cannot read that. <laughs> it's mm. so small. I don't want a YouTube video stopping. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Ignore me, ranting on about things. Freeze, dry, agility, ancient power, and ruse. Well, if we're going by, the two worst would be mine and yours, Nina. <laughs> At least Lugia got a fighting chance, my dude. Come on now. Lugia will put up a battle, which is what matters, alright? Me, me and Shane are just death, like... Just we'll not go Reaper. down without a fight. No, we're literally the Grim Reapers, like... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I'm faster. I would have to be faster in order to get any sort of leverage against Garatina, though. So. You have to be as quick as hell. Which, I'm faster by, what, like, 20? So, I mean, I... Eh. I'm looking at a thing of, like, Lugia, who would win Lugia versus uh, Garatina. And so far, only about three people said Lugia. And about another, like, 20 to 25 said Garatina. I also say Lugia is gonna win. So four people. Shane. I say Garatina is gonna win. So that's twenty six people. But I'm still going, and, and I've not seen a Lugia win since. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss, Amber. Uh, listen. A lot of people crapped on my Pokemon during Poke MMO, and I won a lot of battles. Thank you very much. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Uh, I probably will put this in two parts, like, uh, this one has the main and then like the beginning, well, you won't, you won't know because editing, no. editing magic, <laughs> just forget I said anything, but we will be, there will be two parts, uh, there'll be this and then like a little extra bits about our opinions on like legendaries in a whole, uh, but yeah, look forward to it. Uh, Don't everyone, shit on me. Everyone, uh, give out like uh your information, like uh Amber and Nina, my two mods, give out like uh what 
you do other than this, like your channel and your Instagram and stuff like that. And then Wolfie will be talking about uh, his thing that he just started recently. We have a spooky YouTube channel, which we do. We cover true crime and paranormal topics. It's at Paranormal... I'm um, sorry. Panda and Nina Paranormal Sisters. Um, you can follow us on Instagram at PN underscore paranormal underscore sisters underscore official. And on YouTube at Panda and Nina Paranormal Sisters. And if you would like, we have a resin shop where we do resin crafts, keychains, um... I hand draw a lot of keychains and uh, we do a lot of custom and a lot that's not custom. So you can come over, check it out. If you see something you like, you could just shoot us a message if you want it a certain color or you want a name in there or anything like that. And that is resiningdays.com, R-E-S-I-N-I-N-G-D-A-Y-S.com. We also have a Instagram resining days. I just started a Twitch channel uh, at Fiery Skeleton. Um, Twitch. I haven't uploaded anything yet. I'm not 100% sure when I will be able to because I go back to work on Monday. Um, but I'll probably find out a schedule, hopefully. Um. Yeah, so just twitch.tv slash Irish Skeleton, I think. Capital F, I think. Yeah. It'll be linked in the description. Yes. Oh, yeah. All right, and for everyone who knows, you're here on my channel, obviously. Uh, I am Shane from Shane's World. This is uh, the YouTube channel where we're doing podcasts. Um, so subscribe ring the little bell icon because we do have podcasts coming out every monday uh some are going to be about dead by daylight some are going to be about like you know just random stuff like this pokemon and then there's also going to be ones about like marvel dc we're probably gonna have a good like anime one in the future you know just you know tons of different types of content that i'm sure you guys will love listening to down the line uh i do eh, stream on twitch from Monday through Saturday, uh, unless, you know, obviously if something happens, but, you know, just 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 2 a.m. to or 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then, you know, there are some days when I'm off that I might do, like, a stream earlier that day. Uh, let me see. I also have an Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and so, yeah, just come on by and check me out. I promise you it's lots of fun. We just recently figured out how to put on snap filters. And I do voice mods and soundboard type stuff. Like the whole nine yards. It's a good old fun time. So come on down. Check it out. And uh, I'll see you in the next next podcast. Which will be um, killers reacting to each other uh, in their environments or in like the different maps. Uh, look forward to it because I really think it's going to be a very interesting uh, take on what would happen if killers just got together, like if NGT like had like a big meeting or or just decided to like be like, oh, I'm tired of survivors. Let's see uh, one of my killers going against the other one type thing. So look, look forward to it. And with that all said and done, I'll see you in my world next time.